Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top news. FDA puts ban on Juul vaping devices, pause on hold as company appeals. Vaping company Juul Labs asked a federal court on 28 June to extend a temporary stay on the Food and Drug Administration's ban of its e-cigarettes and flavoured pods. The FDA said the week before trusted source that the company's application for market approval provided insufficient and conflicting data about the risk of its product, including whether potentially harmful chemicals could leach from the e-liquid pods. As a result, the FDA ordered the San Francisco-based company to stop selling its vaping device and tobacco and menthol flavored pods. Dr. Nino Payazade, an assistant research professor in the Milken Institute School of Public Health at George Washington University, said that the agency's move is an important step for public health, given the harms that e-cigarettes cause among youth and adolescents and the potential to lead to a lot of health problems during adulthood, this is significant. The FDA's ban on jewel products is part of the agency's effort to regulate the multi-billion dollar vaping industry based on scientific evidence, the same way it regulates the pharmaceutical and medical device industries. For a company to keep its vaping products on the market, it has to show that the benefits to the public outweigh the risk-trusted source. Possible benefits of e-cigarettes include helping cigarette smokers quit using tobacco products entirely or just getting them to switch to vaping, which can reduce their health risks. The vapor generated by e-cigarettes contains fewer toxic chemicals than the mix of more than 7,000 chemicals trusted source in smoke from regular cigarettes. But that does not mean e-cigarettes vapor is entirely harmless. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, this vapor can contain potentially harmful substances, trusted source such as nicotine, lead and other heavy metals, organic compounds and chemicals that causes cancer. Researchers are also concerned that the particles in e-cigarette vapor may cause inflammation and damage to the lungs. Another potential risk of e-cigarettes is that children and adolescents will get hooked on them. In addition, some research-trusted sources suggest that e-cigarettes used among adolescents may increase the risk that they take up cigarette smoking as adults. So it's just not about today's health, it's about the future of public health. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.